Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton and I am continuing the Christmas Down Under Rookie Division qualifying round walkthrough. This is going to be holes number four through six. Like I said, I'm doing it a little bit different today as this is a brand new course. So it's taken me more time to dial in the shots. So I'm dropping the videos three shots at a time or three holes at a time, I should say. All right, we're going to go right off here to hole number four. Hole number four, we're going to play this one zero percent at max. And we are going to go with the Kingmaker here. I definitely hate using Kingmakers on rookie on par fours, but it really gives us the best chance and most setup for success. Three bars of side spin to the right. That's all that we need. And then we make our elevation pull here. Here we hit a normal shot, we do hit perfect. And what I'm looking to do is actually just clip this rough and roll out. Now the reason that I like that is because we don't need a lot of yards on this drive because we are trying to set shot number two up to be like this. We are trying to set this one up at minimum distance minus 15% elevation. So you need to keep that in mind. We are playing this shot uphill. And then take note of the spins here. We are going with two bars of backspin, okay? one and a half bars of side spin to the left. Again, minus 15% at minimum distance of our club. You see here we hit a perfect shot and this ball does come in very nicely off the rough. And it rolls, it rolls, and it rolls, and oh my goodness, we just barely, I mean barely, miss this one to the left-hand side. So make the small little tweaks there. The only thing that I would change on this shot is go ahead and aim your ball guideline in the hole like I did. But let's go ahead and aim it just to the right-hand side of the flag stick. Perfect speed, great shot, really good chance to pick up an eagle there with that rough bump. Now, hole number four here, I'm going to show you, or I'm sorry, hole number five, I'm going to show you two different club options. First one with a Viper, max backspin, no, max backspin. Take a look at the side spin, okay? This is a click of side spin. I want you to notice it to the left. I mean, you see how there's just barely anything there? So, very hard to duplicate, but it is there. Max backspin, itty, itty amount of side spin to the left. Now take a note here of the light green square that I'm aiming on. You see right here? We're aiming to the left-hand side of the pin, just like that. I do like the Viper shot. Uh, once I found the right adjustment and the right green square to aim on in practice mode, I was able to pick this up two for two. So the shot is playing very consistent with a Viper, and it's a club that anybody watching should have. Especially if you've been playing the game for a long time, you're going to have it maxed out. Here you see we hit the rough, it comes in very nicely, and we do come in dead center for the hole-in-one. If for some reason you're just against playing with the Viper, I do have the hole-in-one with the Sniper as well. Same thing, we're going to go ahead and play at 0% at maximum distance of our club. And we're going to be going with the same type of spin. We are going to go 5.5 bars of backspin. This one here, uh, I put on just a sliver more of side spin to the left. So you saw that little bitty amount of side spin to the left there as well. Trying to virtually, you know, basically aim at the same spot, you know, since we're using um, the same type of backspin and the same type of side spin to the left. And again, the same elevation as well. We do hit the rough again. And this one rolls out. It comes down also right there in the center of the cup. So there's a Viper. There's a Sniper. You pick how you want to play. And then we head on here to hole number six. Hole number six gives us an excellent chance for the opportunity. I'm going to play both shots 15% at max, keeping the numbers very easy for everybody. Here we do want to go with the Berserker, and you're going to see why on shot number two. We're going six bars of top spin, half a bar of side spin to the right. You saw that I was aiming with my yellow ring up there on the rough line. All we're trying to do is get the ball nicely down here on the fairway, and now that's going to leave us for another rough bump opportunity here, okay? There's a lot of rough bumps on this course, which is going to lead to some high scores, all right, for people who are able to execute them. If you're a rookie player and you struggle with rough bumps, 
I mean, this is a great opportunity to learn them. You know, as you move up in the game, you're going to have to learn and conquer the rough bump technique. And of course, there's no easier or better way to start to learn than in rookie where the wins are lower. Like I said, I'm playing both shots 15% at max. Now, the shot you're going to see right here, I actually played 20% at max. You're going to see a great ball to the right, and you're going to see the ball go in for an albatross. However, if we would adjust 15% at max with a perfect shot, the ball would be in the hole. I want you to apply your spins first and then find the landing spot. You know, right here, two bars of backspin, and we're going to go with about half a bar of side spin to the left. Here you can find the spot on the rough. You can even wiggle your target around and you do find a little bit of a sticky spot. A sticky spot means that whenever you find the spot, the end of your ball guide line doesn't really waver too much. It kind of stays in one place, even though you're finding your target. That's what I want you to find. Here, like I said, a minor great shot to the right is going to put me into the hole. So. I do want you to play at 15% at max. Keep in mind that shot was played 20% at max. And that is going to be holes number four, five, and six. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up button. And I will continue the rest of the rookie division and wrap up the qualifying round. Thanks, everybody.